All members will rise and the present representative elect will please raise her right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of your office in which you are about to enter, so help you God. Congratulations, you are now a member of the 117th Congress. <laughs> but what purpose does a gentleman from Louisiana seek recognition? To speak out of order uh, for one minute, Madam Speaker. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. It's with great honor uh, that on behalf of the entire Louisiana delegation, in behalf of all of my colleagues, we welcome Julia Letlow to Congress. It's been quite a journey, uh, and it's, it's not a journey that she walks alone. Uh, this has been Julia and Luke Letlow's journey for over a year, and we all still grieve for the loss of Luke. Uh, tragically died just days before he would have been sworn into Congress. Uh, but Julia never backed down, never looked back, she moved forward and she said, we're going to continue this journey on. And uh, with her beautiful family, and I know up in the balcony, we have her three-year-old son, Jeremiah, and her one-year-old daughter, Jacqueline. We welcome them. As well as both Julia and Luke's families who are in the balcony. Uh, there are so many great tributes and attributes that Julia is going to bring to this Congress. Uh, she graduated from the University of Louisiana Monroe. She's been in a higher education her entire life and truly dedicated uh, her life to serving others. And she will be serving on the Education and Workforce Committee as well as on the Agriculture Committee, two things that are going to be very important to enrich uh, this country as well as her district. Uh, but she's got a, a great record of service. We are so excited to have her in our delegation. We're especially proud uh, that Julia becomes today the first Republican woman ever elected to Congress from Louisiana. And uh, with that, let me welcome our newest member of Congress, Julia Letlow. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's an honor and a privilege to stand here today as the first Republican woman elected to Congress from Louisiana. Representing the people of the 5th Congressional District is a great responsibility, and I pledge to work hard for you in Congress. My district is blessed with some of the best resources in the nation, and no one knew that better than my husband, Luke, who was elected to this very seat but who we lost to COVID just days before he was set to take office. Luke and I were a team with a goal to better our state and our country. I want to thank him for paving the way for me. <laughs> I am here today to carry that torch forward, to be a voice for our farmers, to champion education, to help bring broadband to our rural communities, and to ensure our economy is thriving again. The last year has not been easy for our country. Too many families like mine have experienced tragedy because of this pandemic. To those families, I see you, I hear you, and most importantly, I pray with you. I want to thank my family, both the Letlows and the Barnhills, for being the rock solid, godly people you are in my life. I also cannot thank my staff, the Louisiana delegation, and my congressional colleagues enough for guiding me and welcoming me so fully. And I thank everyone who has reached out and prayed for my family these past few months. Today, as I start my journey in Congress, I choose hope. I want to be part of a revival of honesty, integrity, and hard work within these hallowed halls. I will stand up for what is right and true, bringing hope of a better tomorrow for my children and for yours. 
Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield my remaining time.